My name is David Lu, graduate class of 1962. Day before yesterday, I flew from Taipei to Boston, retracing a journey I took 58 years ago when I came to MIT as a graduate student. Today, I come to remember and to say thanks to Bob Fano. I remember Bob as a charming, loving, caring individual. I want to thank Bob for giving me the opportunity to launch my career in computer science and for teaching me the true meaning of life. As an undergraduate student in Taiwan, I never heard of the name Roberto Mario Fano. I quickly found out who he was when I arrived at MIT. I took a class in electromagnetic theory. One of the textbooks was Electromagnetic Fields, Energy, and Forces, written by Bob Fano, Len Chu, and Dick Adler. Then I took a class in information theory. The textbook was Information Transmission, a statistical theory of communication. In the Second World War, MIT's radiation laboratory's work in radar has given new perspectives to the classical field of electromagnetic theory. Klaus Shannon's work in information theory has opened up a new field. Bob Fano was an intellectual superstar in both of these two areas. We look at him in awe. Yet, in the dawn of the timeshare computer era, with clear vision and unfailing dedication, he took up the leadership of Project Man to study multiple access computers and machine-aided cognition. Two brand new concepts at that time. Two important concepts that drive the development of computer science in the many years to come. Project Man was launched with a summer study in 1963. Over 50 experts in the computing field around the world was invited to come to Cambridge, Massachusetts. It was a group unsurpassed in intellectual proudness, with the possible exception of Alan Turing working alone in King's College, Cambridge, England. Together with members of the MIT community, the group included Lick, Lick Leiter, Maurice Wills, Ed Fracken, Ted Glaser, uh, Joe Weisenbaum, Jean Summit, Doug Engelbert, and from MIT, John McCarthy, Marvin Miski, Corby Corbato, Herb Tiger, David Huffman, Jack Dennis, Fred Henley, Tom Stockholm, Dick King, and Mike DeTosos. Every morning around 10 o'clock, Bob would walk around the corridor, ringing a small bell held in his hand, hurting us to get together to work. We all drank from the fire hose. I was a newly minted assistant professor at that time. I went to see Bob and asked whether I could join Project Mac. Without hesitation, he said yes, and gave me a nice corner office in the sixth floor of 545 Tech Square. He also told me, do the work, and I'll find you the financial support. And I follow his order. I implemented a table-driven compiler system. Bob gave me the opportunity to talk about that 
in the IBM in the Project Mac Industrial Aviation Program. I wanted to teach a new class in combinatorial mathematics. Only six students signed up. Bob said, go ahead and do it. He even came to visit my lectures. He told me to study the Viterbi decoding algorithm. I ended up teaching a graduate class in algebraic coding theory. I learned and I grew under the wings of Bob Fano. Project Mac's impact was significant and far reaching. Computer science was recognized as an academic discipline. From Multix, it is Unix, and so on. From ARPANET, it is CSNet and Internet, and so on. Today, with Internet, any computer can be connected to any computer. With the web, any document can be connected to any document. With social networks, any person can be connected to any person. With the Internet of Things, anything can be connected to anything. Bob foresaw that, and he also was able to witness that in his lifetime. Indeed, beginning with the notion of time-shared computing system, Bob exemplified the spirit of sharing in a most splendid way. As a teacher, he shared his knowledge with his students. As a leader, he shared his vision with his followers. As a old elder, he shared his wisdom with his juniors. As a bon vivant, he shared the joy of life with people around him. And as a papa, he shared with us his bambini, cares, loves, and consideration. In the famous amusement park, Disneyland, there is a ride called It's a Small World. The theme song of that was, there's so much we have shared. It is time that we are aware it is a small world after all. For those of us who were fortunate enough to share some good time with Bob Fano, it was also a beautiful world. I shall always remember and thank Bob Fano. <laughs>